Hey, this is Gabriel Castro. Welcome back to my video. And uh, this is, again, another video about bespoke pens. And I featured a Troy breeding before in the past. And you can see um, his, his work is uh, pretty amazing. He does a lot of really good carving and shows off his carving skills here, as you can see. And the next video, or next, excuse me, next picture, you can see what that blank looks like. Um, this is just a screenshot, so it's not the video where I can rotate and you can see what that looks like. Uh, but anyway, really cool on, uh, on copper tube and then shading added. And uh, just amazing amount of uh, detail work and patience for something like that. Again, another uh, one of his pens uh, from Troy Breeding. Um, I don't know what his website is or anything like that, and um, you know, a lot of these guys here, I've never met or even talked to, so, you know, they're not saying, hey, can you, uh, when you make a video, can you post something about, you know, one of my pictures or anything like that. I, I don't even know if they subscribe to me, quite honestly, so, but I'm just making it because this is what I like to do, and I like to showcase other people's talents, since I haven't been able to get into the garage and make anything of my own for a while because of school and my back issues and whatnot. But anyway, I'm just trying to showcase their talents. And if you come across them, if you know them, uh, please uh, keep them in business, buy from them, share the video, you know. So that's what I'm all about right here. And there's the same pin uh, with the cap off. And you can see the how great that ebonite looks with all that detail work. So again, uh, if if you like their work, uh, buy buy from them, support them. Uh, I've never, I don't think I've uh, featured Alfonso on here. I think he's new to the Pen Artisan Guild, and this is like production for bespoke side. You can see. All the bodies over here, all the pins, the lower part of the body, and then the cap, and then just like you would have on your um, kit side of your blanks, you know, marked and whatnot. So uh, you got the, the lower, the cap, and then this is for your section and whatnot. Just an amazing amount of work that goes into for all the turning on the lathe. Um, I'm not sure if he's using, I think he's using a machinist lathe to knock all these out. But anyway, um, there's a couple more pictures that, sh that shows the process following this one. There you can see how it's machined down on one end, the other part glued on. And, you know, just like anything else, there's a lot of work that goes into it, what you don't see. So... Um, pretty amazing work just for production wise and again there's a little bit clearer picture of that and um, I really liked his display on the on that looks like walnut and uh, just really good looking pins for uh, they look like they're just uh, closed end wood pins uh, but you can see how much work goes into making that pin every one of those pens so great job Alfonso hoping to see some more from you soon uh, Brad Harrington from Custard Pen Makers Group side this is um, one of his first uh, pens here uh, I was getting the hang of it uh, no clip or anything yet but you know I thought it was pretty cool just for him showing showing that off right there um, and really good photography at the same time. Uh, Jake Lazari, um, I've never, I haven't posted uh, his stuff before, but um, I got some individual pictures of his of his pins. Everyone is uniquely different, and um, pretty cool stuff here. Now check out this first one. I'm not sure if that's like etching or what. I asked him, but I haven't heard back from him, but uh, pretty cool stuff, man. Um, just a really beautiful pen. 
same thing with this one not sure what the material is uh, but really good looking um, again from the custom pen makers group pen artists and guilds friends side <clears throat> same thing this is like a three-sided pen and it alternates half and half so it's pretty cool it looks like a an an acrylic or an ebonite or something um, but really could look good looking pen I, I thought it was really beautiful really beautifully designed and beautifully made and uh, let's see what the next one oh this one was a really cool one here too just amazing work all the way around just great execution great materials and polishing and so forth that's probably aluminum but uh, I really don't know um, anyway First time I've seen this stuff on the Pen Artisan Guild. I uh, haven't been on uh, Facebook for a while to really see. Uh, no Stranger, Lauren Rance again. This is another one of his Octagon pens. And a uh, great choice of materials and colors. And you can see that a little bit closer. Uh, the Octagon shape, pretty cool. And that is it. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a good day.